Beware Instagram user. I don't know anything about Bitcoin. He said all I had to do was go in into my settings and change my email. That you could double your money in an hour if you just invest in some sort of new cryptocurrency. They then tell the user that they have to record a video of themselves in order to get that money back. And then as soon as I changed my email, then I got my account hacked and all my passwords got changed. If you have been scrolling through Instagram recently, you might have received some life-changing news to multiply your money using Bitcoin. Might have observed a dramatic spike in these get-rich-quick schemes only to understand your friends got hacked. But just like every other user, you scroll past these thinking who the f*** would even fall for these, right? But let me tell you, the number is so large, you wouldn't even have thought of it. In this video, let's take a deep dive on how this whole scamming network works. I'm planning to show you guys two things today. One to show you how accounts are getting hacked on Instagram. In fact, I myself will show you live how the rabbit hole runs down to be a very simple phishing attack. The second one is I'll try talking to different crypto scammers to find out if all of these come under a single umbrella organization or are these different people with no connection at all. But before all that, just like every other annoying YouTuber, I'm gonna slap your screen with this graph of you guys not being subscribed. After all, I've been very consistent these days. <coughs> Okay, coming to the first phase of how accounts are getting hacked, the whole process boils down to a very simple saying. The biggest vulnerability is the man himself. Let me make this even more simple. There are of course many many ways of getting hacked, but majority of them are just you giving the information yourself. How crazy does that sound? One of the top ways this is happening is through phishing attacks. I'm not gonna bombard you with a lot of technical terms, but just understand phishing means sending the victim a deceptive email or text or anything to steal his information. Information. information might be his passwords, credit card information or anything that the victim is ready to give away. In our case, I mean the Instagram case, the hacker would be making a fake website which would look exactly like the Instagram login page and he would send you the link in a way you'd definitely click it. Is this you in the video? Oh you don't look good in this video. Hey I'm participating in this contest, please help me by liking this post, etc. And why would you refuse to click them when it's sent from one of your friends accounts? From someone you follow and know in real life but you are not aware they are hacked too. And you click the link, log in on the fake website which redirects you nowhere and you receive continuous emails from Instagram that your email is changed, your password is changed until you finally get a call from your friend asking what on earth makes you post stories about crypto that he has never heard of. For a better understanding, let me try this on one of my own accounts today. Let me create a second account real quick, cause I can obviously use it to contact the scammers later. Of course, I have to get some organic followers to make them understand I'm not a bait. Let me call myself Charlie for instance. I'll be grabbing a random person from this website for my display picture. The website generates photos of people who do not even exist. It's done using AI in the backend. Of course, there are many many tools to do this. In my case, I'm using Social Face to generate a phishing website. I've got the link, now I'm gonna text Charlie from my main account asking him to like my post on Instagram to help me win the contest. Charlie has received the text, he clicks the link, redirects to a page which looks exactly like Instagram. He has to help his friend out win this contest so logs himself in. And on my terminal screen, SocialFish has captured his IP address, his username and password as well. Now you know why I quoted the biggest vulnerability is the man himself. Quick and easy solution to save yourselves from this is to set up a two-factor authentication on your Instagram account and to obviously use your brain before willingly giving someone your information. If you were a good observer, you would have definitely observed this site is not instagram.com and it clearly says the connection is not secure. Anyways, coming to the second phase of the video to find out if the scammers are connected to one organization or not. Well, it's been hours, it took me a long time to understand that nobody follows this male species. So let me just change Charlie to Sophia instead and post some catfishing photos. Okay, it's been two days and I've got a couple of bot followers. Yeah, boy. It's time to check out some crypto scammers account and I think I've got a couple of them. The first one I checked out is Trader Tanishka. She has got a couple of photos in here, probably grabbed out from some model. I tried doing a reverse search on Google images if I could find the actual source but sadly found nothing. As far as I've understood, she has taken all of these photographs from some dating websites where accounts are private. Obviously they know these private photos will not be indexed by Google. Smart. Anyway, she has got a couple of certificates as well. Not so strange that I found similar highlights on other trader accounts as well. And there's been this constant name coming out of all of them, Visa Custom House, which is the custom house of Visakhapatnam. 
So I checked out their account and turns out they have posted their certificates online and these accounts have been using the same expected. And I'm not the only one who spotted, few even got scammed. After all of these, I finally decided to talk to a couple of them and the first one was Ankit Singh. I asked him if he has a website where I could trade and he replies we invest your money on cryptography. Cryptography? And I ask him over and over again how to invest but all he says is cryptography. Funny enough, he says he's currently dealing with 500 plus clients and not only that, he strongly says he's a USA based trader. So I decided why not find out if it's true. I took an article which has a list of payment apps in India and created an IP logger link out of it. Basically whenever he clicks this link, it will log his details out, that's all. I asked him if I could pay using any of these and sent him the link. Funny enough, he clicks it and turns out that he is actually based in the USA. But wait, his time zone tells me otherwise. Calcutta time zone, India. He's probably using a VPN connected to a USA server. I tried talking to a couple of others too and I have got the answers for most of the things I have been wondering. Even though most of us know these are scams, there are minority population who still fall for this. They are mostly the ones who are financially in need of money, they are desperate to get it, to pay off debts or loans or anything maybe. And these get rich quick schemes are like god of manipulation in these hard times. Also their way of working is pretty straightforward. First they ask you to invest an initial amount, let's say 10,000 and they don't block you right after they receive it. Instead, after 30 minutes they'll text you back saying that your investment is done and they'd need 10,000 more as a security deposit to take the money out. And without that forget the profits, you'd not even get the initial investments either. Once you fall for that too, they start throwing random hi-fi words at you to make you pay 10,000 more as a transaction fee or brokerage fee saying that it's for international trade and you are supposed to pay it. Well that's how it goes in most of the cases. As far as I have understood these are not under a single organization but different people who are buying these bot followers and these bot comments from some spam service. Anyways if there is something you can take away from this video is that instant money is a scam. Just ask yourself, why would a stranger want to multiply my money instead of his own? 